Hi everybody, this is Corey Jenkins with Aspen Grove Studios and today I'm going to do a real quick uh, video tutorial of how to create this uh, really nice looking full width image gallery using Divi 2.4 and this gallery here that we're looking at is the uh, Divi Cafe example that Elegant Themes has on their website. So let's jump over to our website here and uh, first step we're going to add a single column and then we're going to add the, uh, the gallery module here and then we want to go in and, and add a few images. I'm just going to grab some out of the media library. And you can see here that uh, there's a couple of gallery settings. Uh, let's go ahead and select random order. And we'll leave this here a thumbnail. Okay, so now that we have images added to our gallery, we need to change a, a couple of settings um, in this module. So we're going to make this a grid. Turn off the title and caption turn off the pagination, and we'll save that. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to clone this module a few times, and uh, I'll, I'll actually just, by doing that, have the same images stacked on top of each other here. So then we're going to jump into the row settings, and uh, there's a couple of uh, items here that we need to, to change. We're going to make the row full width. We're going to use a custom gutter width and drag this down to 1. And then we're going to uh, add some custom padding here, uh, zero on top and zero on the bottom. And we'll save that. Let's publish this page. And have a look here. And you can see that now I've got a really nice looking full width image gallery with no uh, spacing in between the images and no spacing above and, and below um, any of the images either. So. Uh, this is pretty easy to do once you kind of learn your way around the builder a little bit. And uh, this uh, new builder that they have in 2.4 just saves you a ton of time uh, without having to add a bunch of custom CSS. So that is how you create a uh, full width image gallery like the example on Divi Cafe. And if you have any questions on this, please leave a comment below on the video. And if you uh, have any ideas for future video tutorials, please leave a comment as well. So once again, this is Corey Jenkins with Aspen Grove Studios, and we'll talk to you soon.